The Pyrenees Mountains on the border between France and Spain, a region renowned for its rugged scenery, breathtaking views, and the 20,000 trucks that thunder along its motorways every single day of the year. Although lorries are only 3% of the vehicle fleet, they cause a fifth of all road congestion in Europe. So that's obviously a problem that needs to be addressed because it's costing us 1% to 2% of European GDP every year. But despite the problems, all is not hopeless. Here in Spain's Rioja wine-producing region, near the Pyrenees, this truck is being loaded with bottles of wine for consumers in the Netherlands. Up until recently, the truck would have driven the 1,400 kilometers to its final destination. Today, it travels less than 150 kilometers to here, the port of Bilbao. Once unhooked from its cab, the lorry's trailer is loaded onto this ship. From here, it will be transported by sea to the Belgian port of Zeebrugge. Son las cinco salidas a la semana que tenemos, salida diaria y fiabilidad, rentabilidad y seguridad. The Link is one of 35 shipping services being supported by the EU's Marco Polo program, which wants to ensure freight is shared more evenly between trucks and other forms of transport. Over the next two years, Marco Polo projects should help shift 40 billion ton kilometers of freight away from Europe's roads. That's the equivalent of two and a half million trucks, each carrying 15 tons between Brussels and Vienna. The Bilbao Zebrugge Link is part of a new generation of EU shipping services called Motorways of the Sea, which should be no more complicated to use than traditional motorways. Congestion isn't just a Spanish problem. Here in the Greek capital Athens, many of these trucks are heading in or out of the city on the busy and often dangerous Balkan route, which links Greece with the rest of the European Union. Here again, Marco Polo is lending a helping hand. It's supporting this new shipping service, which links the port of Corinth, just under 100 kilometers west of Athens, with Genova in northern Italy, cutting out the Balkan route altogether. Non è solo un collegamento da un porto italiano a un porto greco, bensì da un porto che abbraccia il centro nord Europa a un porto che può arrivare fino a un porto che poi ha come sfogo e destino la Turchia e tutti i Balcani. It's a cold, dark and rainy morning in Zeebrugge as the ship from Bilbao docks at the port's number two key. As day breaks, the dock workers unload the trailer of Spanish wine destined for Dutch connoisseurs. The truck is soon on the road again. In less than two hours, it's being unloaded at its owner's warehouse in the Netherlands. The boat is a hartstikke mooi alternatief om dat op te lossen. Dus alles wat wij in de toekomst met de boot kunnen doen, zullen we met de boot doen. The Spanish wine is then distributed to supermarkets across the country. Its consumers blissfully unaware of the ecologically sound voyage their favorite Rioja has made from the Pyrenean hills to their shopping basket. Of course, Marco Polo alone will not solve Europe's freight transport problems, and it's equally true that some goods will always need to be carried by road. But by supporting projects that show it's both possible and profitable to shift freight away from roads to other means of transport, Marco Polo is playing its part in helping Europe to chart its way towards a greener horizon.